howdy y'all so today we are gonna go from this look to oh, this oh let's get started so first i'm gonna start off with painterly paint pot from mac and i always use this as the base of any of my eyeshadows i've been using it for years you can't tell me anything different I don't like any other base, but yeah. I'm gonna put that all over my lids. Okay, next I'm gonna be using my eyeshadows from J Nova Collection. I have $5 eyeshadows for you guys. So I'm just gonna be using all J Nova Collection eyeshadows. So the first one I'm gonna be using is called Naked. The next color I'm gonna be using is called Out of Town. What I'll do is I'll mix them around on my finger, get it right there, and pack it onto my lid. I feel like you get it out better when you um, put it on your finger as opposed to putting it on the finger. So after you pack on Out of Town, then I go in with Coco, which you know, collection. It's like a dark brown. And I'm just gonna go like right in the crease. And as you notice, I use the same brush typically throughout my whole entire process. I just keep cleaning it off. But now I'm like a ratchet. I know that there's like a million brushes for all your different like needs, but The MAC 224 brushes. It's really one of my favorite brushes. Good brushes. I really look like a fucking raccoon right now, honestly. I don't know where I was really going with this look, but it'll all be worth it. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take painterly again, and I'm going to go underneath my eye and put it under here, right under here. Take a brush like this. It's like a slanted. I'm gonna take out of town again, which is like that purple color. And here. Put that under, sorry. Put that underneath where I just put the pink leaf in front of. I really look crazy as hell. I promise y'all it's gonna look cute, I'm telling you. So Still gotta blend in all types of stuff. Okay, so after I put all of the out of town on underneath my eye right here i'm gonna take a black eyeliner and i like do it kind of messy like i kind of just like smudge the inside of my waterline with the black eyeliner i don't really care if it gets on the lower lash line because i'm kind of gonna blend it all together anyways getting it all in there. as you can see i'm really not even paying attention i'm just like Whoa. Black out from J Nova Collection. I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna dip it in here a little bit. And then I'm kind of just gonna blend out of town and black out together. Okay, that's the light. And then I'm going to take a black eyeliner. This one is by Rimmel. It's just a liquid eyeliner. And I'm going to do a cat eye. other side so it's even but it's really not gonna be even but bam and then I'm gonna just trace along my eye should look something like this let me do the other one um, let me clean this one up a little bit all right after I got the liner on and now I'm gonna take this is called I think it's called heavy metal I don't know I think it's called by Urban Decay and Midnight Cowboy I see where I'm going with this look, so I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna line right above my cat eye. So not on it, but just like right above it. I 
Okay, after the glitter is done drying, then I'm going to take my mascara and mascara is my lid. My lid. My. I'm not too bad. Okay. Y'all know what I'm gonna do. And the mascara I use, in case you're wondering, is Maybelline Lash Sensational. Um, I don't know. I don't like love it or hate it. It's cool. It does the J O B. I want my bottom lashes. And then after I'm done putting my mascara on, then I'm gonna put some lashes on. I don't know what kind of lashes they are. I would tell y'all if I knew, but there are some lashes I found in my my room, so I don't know what lashes they are. <laughs> Hopefully they look cute. Okay, I added my lashes. They're still kind of drying, but while they're drying, I'm gonna take Barely There by J Nova Collection. And I'm just gonna like blend out this area right here. So now I have all this fallout under my eyes. So I'm just wiping under my eyes. And then I'm going to add some under eye. Concealer. The eye concealer I like is MAC Pro Longwear. I use NC20. It's like a beauty blender because it's easier for me to like get in there. And my under eye concealer, it always creases. So I always set it with Laura Mercier setting powder. Like right after I put the concealer on, I put the Laura Mercier on. Okay, next, I'm just taking this bronze mineral powder and I'm gonna give myself some color. And I'm feeling like this is gonna be like a fall color for me and so I get really, really, really white in the summer. So I always like, like my face will get really light, but then my body stays darker than my face. So I always have to like super darken my face out. So if y'all like, bitch, that's not your color, I know. I'm gonna blend it out, don't worry. But this is the spots where I put the darker powder. I do my nose. My blush, I'm gonna use this blush by MAC had this blush for like since I was like five. It's called Love Joy. I don't even know if you can buy it anymore. I'm gonna take a random brush. This is not even like a blush brush. This is probably a foundation brush honestly, but okay. Cool over here, shop. And I blend everything, like I really, really blend everything at the end, so that's why I'm not really blended right now. So next I'm gonna do Soft and Gentle by MAC as a highlighter. Just take a fan brush. Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do. some like mineralized finish on my face and um, spray it and then I'm just gonna blend everything together. So be right back. Got it all together now. So now is the fun part. You know my favorite part, the lip. I'm gonna do a couple of different lips so that you can get ideas of what kind of lips you can do with this little fall eye color. So let's see. I already have a little bit of liner on but I'm gonna reline my lips. I have a Jane Nova collection lip liner coming out very very soon so stay on lookout for that okay so the first combo i'm gonna do i'm going to do coffee date which is a liquid matte so i'll show you this look with coffee date and you can see you know if you just like it just matte and then i'll put a gloss on over it so you can see how that looks too so coffee date i just put it on a little tester thing And all of my liquid mattes, they go on liquid and they dry matte. And this is Coffee Date just by itself. It's still kind of drying right now. This 
So one that I like to mix with coffee date is coconut. This is coconut. Coconut on top of coffee date. Okay, next I'm going to mix smooches and passion berry. Um, smooches is a liquid matte, passion berry is a gloss. So I'm gonna mix the two together. This is smooches. Okay, next I'm gonna put passion berry on top. Let's smooches with passion berry lip gloss on top. The next set I'm going to do is Send Nudes and Lincoln. I'm going to mix these two together. Send Nudes is a liquid matte and Lincoln is a gloss. So this is Send Nudes by itself and it looks really different on everyone. On my skin tone it's like a pink, pinkish nudish matte. Send news is tried and I'm gonna put a link in on top. Stankin' Lankin. Okay, next I'm gonna do Flamingo and put Dollhouse on top. Flamingo is a liquid matte. Dollhouse is a super sparkly. It's a super sparkly gloss. I'm gonna put dollhouse on top back. Oh, this is a fast thing. And dollhouse is like a sparkly. Okay, now I'm going to mix Rouge and Brittany together. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, can I have that back? Are you trying to take my mirror? So this is Rouge. This is my liquid matte red. It's drying right now. I'm working on top. Yes, gloss, gloss me, gloss me. The last two I'm gonna do is is plum wine and way mauve. Plum wine is a liquid matte. Way mauve is a it's a lip gloss. It's a sparkly lip gloss. Plum wine, and it can get darker and darker the more you want to put on. So you can keep it a little lighter. You can add more to get it darker. And we're gonna put Wing Mob on top. Looks so bomb. Such a pretty fall color. Okay guys, so that is it. I am done. I was just giving you guys tons of options that you can use the liquid matte on top of the gloss. I mean, wait, no. The gloss on top of the liquid matte. You can use one by itself, one or the other. If you guys like this look, make sure you give this a thumbs up. Make sure you turn your post notifications on so that you're updated right when I post anything. Subscribe, share this video. If you do a remake of it, make sure you tag really fun fall kind of look let me add more stuff so I look more fall as opposed to like this nothing dress Ooh. does this look fallish to y'all
or does it look foolish? I love the way that I said it's frightful. I wouldn't think I looked down. Maybe this can go like this. Ooh, yeah, let's. Do I look like I'm cold and I need to have fall makeup on? Is that what I look like or do I just look stupid? <laughs> Don't wear this during the fall. Just take this all off. Just catch influenza shit. It's Say bye. Can I give you a kiss on the cheek? Is that again the rules? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a sneaker booty cheeky kiss. Look at it. Show them the kissy. Oh, look at Novi. Oh, you got the kissy. Make sure you guys shop janeovacollection.com for all your lip glosses. Right now, we're doing over $30 to get free shipping. So, yeah, check us out. And thank you so much for all your support and love. Love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Say mama. Say mama. Say mama. Say mama. Say it.